Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Honorable Penny Pritzker, Secretary of Commerce of the United States. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I am so pleased to see all of you here. Welcome to the second Select USA International Investment Summit. As the United States agency charged with leading Select USA, all of us at the Department of Commerce are proud to host you this week and to serve you throughout the year as your bridge to American communities and markets. It is a true pleasure to see such a large, diverse crowd of business leaders and government officials under one roof for this extraordinary gathering. This year, companies from more than 70 international markets have sent delegations. And this event is not only sold out, but we have doubled the number of participants from our first summit with over 2,600 attendees here with us today. President Obama created Select USA four years ago as the first of its kind, whole of government, comprehensive initiative to attract and retain more investment to the United States. Every day, Select USA serves as the connective tissue between foreign investors and American markets. For investors, Select USA is your first stop to find data on U.S. communities. It is a key source of information on how to establish operations in the United States, how to navigate federal rules and regulations, how to understand the changes in our economy. For cities, counties, states, and economic development professionals, Select USA is your partner in attracting new sources of investment. Select USA provides counseling on strategy and best practices, including on the ground information from our commercial service officers about potential partners and investors across more than 70 markets. Select USA serves as your city or state's promotional platform and your advocate organizing road shows and missions to trade fairs across the globe. For these reasons and more, the work of Select USA is absolutely critical. Today and tomorrow, you will hear from President Obama, from officials across our administration, from state and local economic development agencies, and from key leaders in the private sector. All of us will deliver a single, simple, and straightforward message. America's economic resurgence is real, and there is no better time to invest in our country. The strength of our economy and the benefits of our markets are well understood by business leaders in this room and across the globe, as evidenced by an A.T. Kearney survey of international CEOs that ranked the United States as the number one place to grow a business for two years running. Companies choose to invest here because of our rising job market, with 12 million jobs added over the past five years, with our unemployment rate down to its lowest level in six years, with our manufacturers creating nearly 900,000 jobs since 2009. Firms choose to invest here because of our strong rule of law and our intellectual property protections, our world-class universities, and our global leadership in R&D, our stable financial markets, and our vibrant supply chains, and our abundant and affordable energy supply. Businesses choose to invest here because of our low tariff rates 
and the low barriers to entry to our communities. Investors also choose the United States because of the talent and ingenuity of our people. Taken together, these strengths make it clear why the United States continues to boast the world's leading investment climate and why today, tomorrow, and in the future, our doors will remain open to your businesses. Your confidence in America is represented by enterprises such as Makdoom Brothers Designers, an Indian clothing company. Like 60% of the foreign delegates at this summit, Makdoom is a small business that has traditionally served a local clientele. Makdoom opened its doors 126 years ago, but it is not until two years ago that it saw an opportunity to bring their business to the United States. In February 2013, Makdoom's owners attended a select USA roundtable in Hyderabad, where foreign commercial service officers stationed in India described U.S. investment opportunities. As a result, Makdoom joined the Indian delegation to the first Select USA Summit in October of 2013. With the help of Select USA staff to navigate federal regulations, the company incorporated a subsidiary in Joliet, Illinois. And in September 2014, Makdoom opened a new distribution and retail outlet in my hometown of Chicago. Makdoom is not alone. Also with us today is Lufthansa Technik, a subsidiary of the German aviation company, which chose to open a new maintenance, repair, and overhaul facility in Puerto Rico, thanks to Select USA's counseling and advocacy. In addition, we have Questar Technology, a Canadian clean tech firm which attended a Select USA event in Calgary, worked with our team to gather information on US markets, and a few months ago opened a new production facility in Brooksville, Florida. In this audience, we are proud to see a significant number of foreign firms that have placed their bet on America, including a Swiss energy firm, a Japanese advanced composite maker, an Italian bottle cap company, a Chinese automotive glass manufacturer, and hundreds of others that are committed to investing in the United States. Today, the United States is proud to stand as the largest recipient of foreign direct investment in the world. Over each of the last three quarters, foreign businesses have injected an average of $67 billion into our economy each quarter. And over the past year, Summit participants announced at least $13 billion in U.S. investments, which support an estimated 32,500 jobs. Even with this success, our administration is well aware that each of you has a choice in where to invest. And I want to make it crystal clear, we want your business. To stay a step ahead of the global competition for investment, President Obama has challenged his team to continually improve the investment climate across our nation. The Commerce Department will work to meet this goal through a new partnership between Select USA and state economic development organizations. Through the release of new data on the impact of foreign direct investment on the United States economy, and through improved online tools to make it easier for investors to identify potential American partners. And we will establish the first ever Federal Advisory Committee to solicit input on strategies to attract foreign direct investment to the United States. Our administration's effort to compete for your investments 
are not limited to the Commerce Department and Select USA. Knowing that all firms want to locate in a market open to trade and exports, we lead the revitalized National Export Initiative to expand access to the 95% of customers who live beyond our borders. And the entire administration is committed to enacting important new trade agreements, opening more doors to the Asia Pacific and Europe, covering two thirds of global GDP. Knowing that companies want to come to a country with an educated and well prepared workforce, we support strategic investments to ensure the skills of our workers match the needs of your businesses. Knowing that U.S. tax policy must be globally competitive, we are focused on business tax reform that closes loopholes, lowers rates, and gives companies every reason to locate their operations in America. Knowing that a vibrant and innovative manufacturing sector is an essential factor in where you decide to invest, we are bringing industry, academia, and government together to create the next generation of advanced manufacturing. Finally, knowing that any good business requires a strong, durable infrastructure, we have made key investments in our roads and bridges, in broadband, and in the digital infrastructure needed to compete in the 21st century. Our administration's dedication to attracting your investment stems from a simple fact. Foreign direct investment spurs growth for American businesses and supports good paying jobs in our communities. When your international firms locate operations in the United States, our workers benefit as more than 5.8 million Americans go to work each day in high paying jobs supported by foreign direct investment. When your international firms invest in our country, you bring state-of-the-art workforce development programs to our communities, helping U.S. workers gain the skills they need to succeed in their careers. When your international firms invest in America, you help ensure that the United States continues to lead the world in innovation. As foreign companies spend $48 billion here on R&D in 2012, comprising more than 15% of total R&D nationwide. When your international firms come to our shores, our communities gain a competitive edge in the global economy. As our U.S. affiliates account for more than one-fifth, as your U.S. affiliates account for more than one-fifth of all American exports and integrate local businesses into global supply chains. There can be little doubt our efforts to capture more investment serves to strengthen eco economies, families, businesses, and communities across our nation. This is the reason we are so invested in the success of Select USA and this summit. Indeed, everyone here has a stake in this success. Our gathering today and tomorrow is about connecting, expanding partnerships, building new relationships, and charting new courses to growth. Simply put, these next two days are an extraordinary opportunity. An opportunity to learn in plenaries and breakout sessions focused on the landscape for startups and entrepreneurship, the innovation advantage in the United States and how you can make the most of it, the energy revolution in America and how low energy prices impact your businesses, and the investment prospects in rural America. An opportunity to listen to key leaders from the public and private sectors, including cabinet members and White House officials, governors and mayors, 
global business leaders like Warren Buffett and Eric Schmidt of Google. And this afternoon, we will all have the honor and privilege of hearing directly from the President of the United States, Barack Obama. In addition, you will have the opportunity to meet and exchange ideas with key partners, to engage with the leaders of Select USA, including Vinay Thumalapoli, the program's executive director, to hear from representatives of 20 different federal agencies, to connect with U.S. economic development officials who can talk about their regional assets and their hometown workforce, to meet over 45 U.S. chief of missions who have organized and led delegations from around the world, and to meet members of our Foreign Commercial Service who connect local communities to global markets and foreign companies to U.S. markets. Most importantly, this summit is an opportunity for partnership with your fellow participants. If you seize these opportunities, we will not only make this summit a success, we will not only pave the path to more investment here in the United States, we will not only create closer ties between foreign businesses and U.S. markets that will benefit all of us for years to come. We will clearly establish that America is open for business, your business. Thank you very much, and have a great summit.